welcome to Adventure Tuesday. I'm Kip with Homestead Living, Thousands of Roots. And today is going to be a little bit different. I don't really have an um, off homestead adventure or something like that. It's going to be more like um, some maintenance on something unique. The maintenance is going to be on our solar unit, which a lot of you don't even know. But the main guts of our solar unit is underneath this landing piece right here. That's where the main thing is. Today we're going to be taking these batteries out, maintenancing them, putting a whole other set of batteries in, um, and get our main batteries fully charged up. And we'll do that by putting them on a charger and having the generator running and charging those batteries. I started out this morning by working on the generator because it wasn't quite running right. Changed the oil, cleaned out the air filter, and it seems like it's good to go. All right, Scooter, so what are we up to here? Uh, well, we're testing these batteries to see if they're good, and then we're going to replace our current batteries in our solar system with the new batteries so we can charge up the old batteries. Okay, let's see how these test out. All right. 12.9899. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. All right, Scooter, would you show everybody where the main guts of our solar system is? Sure. There it is, you guys. So here's the main workings of our solar system. Oh boy, that's dirty. All right. Well, we got a work cut out for us, don't we, Scooter? Yeah. All right, let's get at it. take a little coffee break we got those other batteries connected up and solar is running again everything's plugged back in and running so that's great next will be my original batteries to get them charging from the generator with a battery charger on there and I come in I find my little ones just having a great time in here with some ropes Big brother fixing the one that broke. All right, lunch time. What you got there, Esther Pie? I got apple slices and peanut butter. Ooh, boy, that sounds tasty. Yeah. That's a treat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Here is Patches. Patchy. He just loves the lovins. This guy, he's my buddy. Hey, buddy. Let me tell you a quick story, funny story. I was working total high speed, and come on, come on. I was working total high speed, and I go to this house, and it was just before Christmas time, and I meet these folks, and um, I see they have two kittens, and I said, "Oh, I see you have two kittens," you know, and that's when we were just establishing the homestead and everything, and. And they said, yeah, do you want one? I said, oh, I don't know about that. I can't, uh, <laughs> my wife doesn't, doesn't like cats and I can't just be bringing home um, animals to the homestead. And they said, oh, please take one. We'll give you a bunch of food if you take one. We'll give you like a whole month's worth of food if you take one of them. And I'm going, what's the deal? Why do you want to get rid of them so bad? They said, well, these kittens, we come out here just a couple days ago, and all the Christmas presents are torn up, and 
one of the kittens was on the very top of the Christmas tree, just hanging on up there. <laughs> Would you please take one? Would you take them both? Well, I'll give you all the food if you take them both. And I said, you know what? Let me call my wife and um, let me talk to her about this. And so I gave her a call and we decided, yeah, it'd be really good to have one uh, as a mouser. Um, keep them outside for the most part. And um, so I, I chose this man right here. I chose this boy. And as a kitten, he drove with me. He, he drove with me in my work van all the way home. It was a little over an hour drive. And he just stayed in my lap the whole time. And um, so then we brought him home. And it was obviously, you know, winter time. And so we actually kept him in the house for a while. Um, because of how cold it was outside. And uh, so here he is now. What? Almost five years later, I guess. Huh? He's just about... You're going on five, aren't you, buddy? Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't realize it was that long. Yep. Well, there's the story, Patches. Okay, so... Got those batteries charging from the generator. Because those batteries were very depleted. So, once those batteries are charged up through using the charger and the generator then we can go ahead and swap those back out and uh, get those back on our system. So that's what's going on with that. All right, Nate, what are we up to next? Well, we're gonna set up a life trap because there's a been a raccoon trying to get our turkeys. Let's go. All right, so right here is where the raccoon was actually climbing the fence when I heard it last night and came out here and stopped them. So this is, this is a live trap, this will not kill or hurt the animal at all and the way you set these things you lift this here and then this little hook it, it controls that plate there so and this is hooked on there you don't want it hooked real real good but good enough to hold it then when that plate is stepped on that's what sets it off. And so, what I'll do is pour a bunch of this to cover our scent. So I'm sure that people who do trapping legitimately are gonna be like, oh, this guy's an idiot, he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, you're right. I am. I'm just a city boy. You know, you guys probably don't even really know that about me. I'm a city boy, I grew up in the city. We lived in Alaska before here, but still it was city life. And uh, it wasn't until we moved out here that we really started learning about country living, how to live on a farm, how to do all the stuff that we're doing. Um, it has been a, quite the learning curve for me and my family. So we're just learning. We're just learning. So I'm going to toss the meat in there. Hopefully get enough of it all the way to the back. Or the raccoon will just have to go back there. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully the raccoon will come back here. He'll step on that plate and it will close the door on him. Then we can come and move that guy. Where are you going, honey? Huh? Where are you going? Hello, here. You're gonna do some watering in the garden? Yeah. All right. All right, you guys, so here's the batteries. We've started charging this one and it's still just working on charging. For some reason, something went wrong today and it stopped charging it. My goodness, look at the size of this guy. You guys, look at the size of this guy hiding in our garden. 
That is huge. Here's another smaller one right here. You can spot it. Look at how big that thing is. Get him, Master, get him. These are yams, you guys. Look forward to bringing you along for that harvest when we get to it. This whole bed is yams. Hey, honey, can you give me a wink? <laughs> How about? <laughs> That's so fun. Thank you, honey. I love you. All right, so this is one of our favorite hangout spots. On the patio, right next to the garden. We had a good dinner. Did you have a good dinner, Esther Pie? You feel nice and full? Yep. And of course, the little ones are doing all kinds of fun stuff. What's that? Those shoes look just a little bit too big for you. But that's okay. They work anyways, huh? Want me to watch? Okay. What you doing? Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out Thousand of Root. We pray blessings over you and yours. And know what you do, you do it whole heart. She's caught red-handed. She loves playing with water. You're getting all wet, sweetie. <laughs> You're getting all wet. <laughs> She doesn't care. <laughs> you're just getting yourself all wet, aren't you? Now what you gonna do with that water? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Turn it off. Okay, show us. What you gonna water? Oh yeah, it really needs it in there, huh? That's right. It goes too slow for her, so she has to just dump it. Because <laughs> for her, it's all about refilling. 